Good morning. It's uh, 5.52 a.m. Saturday, October 17, 2020. This is your LA First Filipino Church of the Nazarene. And this is your daily morning prayer. For this morning, let us look at uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. Verses 16 to 18, rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Prayer is the power bank for our daily journey. It's a soul refresher, stress reliever, means of communication to God. And uh, we believe in LA First Filipino Church of the Nazarene that this is the backbone of our ministry. This is a uh, prayer-only session. This is not a Bible study. This is, uh, there will be no preaching. Uh, only, nothing but prayer. Our goal is uh, selflessness, to teach our people how to pray and to form a habit of praying, just like what Jesus did in the Garden of Gethsemane, just like what Daniel did, Moses, Joshua, and all great leaders and biblical heroes, they uh, use prayer as a uh, powerful tool to uh, be victorious in their leadership, in their Christian lives. How to pray? In praying, there's a, an ACTS or ACTS, a, a for adoration, it's about praising God, C for contrition or confession, asking for forgiveness, T, thanksgiving, it is about showing God our gratitude for all His blessings and His goodness and kindness and mercy and love, and S for supplication, asking God for a favor. We will pray for our world, for our country, for our church, for our neighbor, for our friends, for our relatives, and they will pray for you. Let us start praying. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord God, for your for you are a beautiful God. We acknowledge that you are the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. We love you, Jesus. We we adore you. We just want to lift up your name this morning and this morning belongs to you we just want to start our day lord god uh, praying praying to you the mighty god that the everlasting father lord if there's any saints in our hearts if there's anything that uh, we did we said and we thought of that is not pleasing to you lord god we ask for forgiveness I would like to pause to give you an opportunity to ask for forgiveness, whatever sins in your heart, repent to God. And the Bible says He's merciful, He's a forgiving God. Let us do that. Let us repent our sins. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we want to thank you for all the goodness, Lord God, for all the faithfulness, for all the blessings that we receive, that we continue to receive from you and we're about to receive from you. Let us give thanks to God for all the things that uh, that is worthy of his praise. Let's, uh, let us pause for a while and uh, let us give everyone who are watching and listening the opportunity to give thanks to god hallelujah thank you jesus
Lord, we remember you, Lord God, uh, as you said in your word, Lord, that um, you are the source, you are the giver, you are the uh, provider, you are the healer. And we just want to continue to ask for favor, to supplicate, to to uh, come to your throne, Lord God, and uh, ask, Lord God, and pray. Lord, we pray for this world, this world that is uh, needs healing. We pray that you continue to work in the lives of people who are affected by the pandemic, Lord God, by COVID-19, those people who are... Um, not feeling well, those people who are sick, Lord God, we pray that uh, you give them complete healing. We pray, Lord God, that you, uh, you put an end, Lord God, to, to the pandemic, Lord God, in our world. We pray, Lord God, for peace, for love, for your goodness to um, surround us, Lord God. Lord, we pray for our country, uh, our beloved Philippines, Lord God, we lift up to you our president and all the government officials we lift up to you uh lord god that you will heal the divisiveness in our country we lift up to you also lord god our adopted country lord uh united states of america we lift up to you our president also lord god and all the leaders of this a mighty nation of yours, Lord. We pray, Lord God, this, uh, about this coming election, that uh, you will be God, that you will choose what is uh, right for your people. And uh, we will. We pray, Lord, that uh, you give us um, um, a better government next uh, after election, Lord God. Whoever wins, Lord God, that people will uh, respect the decision, Lord God, and uh, that this election will be clean, honest, Lord God, and uh, and you will be uh, uh, emerged, Lord God, as the as the true leader of this uh, nation, Lord God. Lord, we pray for our church, the denomination of uh, Church of the Nazarene. We thank you for the one hundred twenty fifth year anniversary, Lord God, that we will be celebrating with you on Sunday. We thank you, Lord God, for the LA First Filipino Church of the Nazarene. Lord, you are our God. And uh, we believe, Lord, that uh, you're capable of healing. You're capable of uh, restoring your your glory, Lord God, in this church. We, are, we believe, Lord God, that you are the one who will... Um, uh, you are the only God who's capable, Lord God, of bringing people in, inside that... Uh, inside inside our church lord god that four uh four walls of our church lord god you'll be bringing souls in there and you will be using us your servants lord to uh minister to your people lord god and to reveal who you really you are lord and that you are worthy to be praised lord god we pray for our neighbors our friends lord god we pray for our relatives lord god that uh, they get to know you that they will be saved also, Lord. Lord, we pray for our friends who are requesting prayer, Lord God. We remember in our prayer, Mary and Ramos, Lord. Uh, we pray for her aunt. Uh, she's serious right now, Lord, uh, 80 years old. She needs major heart surgery. Her name is uh, Loretta Ramos. We pray, Lord God, for complete healing. We pray for Julia Agustin for her good health. We pray for Nympha Fabula uh, that you will heal her niece in Jesus' name. We pray for Suzette, Lord God, that I uh, continue to bless her, Lord God, and continue to um, reveal yourself to her, Lord God. And also, Lord, uh, we uh, want to pray, Lord God, uh, with uh, together with our uh, Facebook friends, Lord God, that uh, we just, Lord God, to ask for your kindness, Lord God, for your goodness, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, we pray for Leonardo de la Cruz, for her, for her whole family, Lord, that uh, you bless them and uh, keep them safe always during this time of COVID-19. 
we uh, we pray together with Susan Elgan, Lord, that uh, 2021 will be a different year for all of us, Lord, and uh, pandemic will be over in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord God, for the life of Jennifer Zaft. Uh, there were 1,500 people who prayed for his father who was hit by a car in 1986 and you answered her prayer and we rejoice with that, Lord God. That is a beautiful testimony of how powerful you are. We pray for Emily Reyes and um, there's an emergency doctor's appointment uh, for tomorrow. I think that would be today, Saturday a pregnancy-related concern, and uh, we, we just want to ask for a complete uh, divine intervention for them, Lord. We pray for Absalom, Makapagal, Lord God, uh, to secure uh, life insurance career, Lord God, for his life insurance career in the Philippines. Uh, bless him, Lord God, and uh, lead him to the correct and the right uh, uh, the right uh, clients, Lord God, and I uh, bless him in his, uh, in his uh, business, Lord God. I pray for, uh, we pray for Annalisa Paule. We pray for her family, for her good health, and uh, that they are that they will continue to be safe, Lord God, during these times, Lord God, in Pampanga. We pray for Sarah, Selena Serafin, Lord God, uh, that uh, your protection, your guidance, Lord God, uh, for their good health. And uh, always uh, keeping them safe, Lord God, especially during this time of pandemic, Lord God. And uh, this pandemic will be uh, soon over, Lord God. We pray for Gertrudis Kubota. We pray for her sister and sister-in-law, uh, whatever they needs, Lord God. We pray that uh, you continue to meet their needs, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God, for uh, this uh, powerful tool that you gave us, that is prayer. We also remember Vedi, Lord God, uh, for, for his uh, pancreatic cancer. We pray for healing. We pray for Danny Munoz, Lord God, for Brother Danny, for his kidney problem, Lord God. We also lift up in prayer um, Romy. Giwa for his uh, kidney problem, Lord God, and for his surgery. We pray for the family of uh, uh, Ling Ling uh, Carbonell that uh, you, you embrace them, Lord God, uh, with your loving arms, Lord God, as they uh, grieve, Lord God, for the loss of uh, their daughter, their the wife, uh, for the loss of his wife. Uh, we pray for Randall. Uh, we pray we pray, Lord God, for her children, that you continue to embrace them, Lord God, with your love and comfort. Lord God, we thank you for the power of prayer, Lord God, and we thank you for this ministry, Lord God. And, uh, we love you. We just want to say we're so grateful, forever grateful that you are God. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Thank you for joining our daily morning prayer. And uh, we are your LA First Filipino Church of the Nazarene. We, are, um, we will be opening on November 1, November 1st, uh, 2020 for our in-person gathering uh, at Wiley Chapel at 3401 West 3rd Street, Los Angeles, California, 90020. Our email address is lafeelnaz at gmail.com. We will be putting up our website by next month, uh, lafeelnaz.org. Please visit that. And uh, we have our uh, social media. Uh, if you are available, please follow us on our social media, Facebook at lafeelnaz, Instagram at lafeelnaz, and uh, YouTube. LA Filipino Nazarene. This is uh, Pastor Jeff Padagiwa, the, your lead servant for LA First Filipino Church of the Nazarene. We thank you for uh, having us this morning and joining us uh, with this uh, beautiful prayer session with the Lord. And uh, this is your LA First Filipino Church of the Nazarene signing off. God bless you. Thank you for the opportunity to uh, bless you. And the opportunity to be with, uh, with to be with you in prayer.
God bless you. Thank you very much. Bye.